how me and Liam met was one of those love stories that was never supposed to happen. I never imagined to fall in love with somebody like Liam. I love Raquel. <laughs> she has a nice soul. She's just, she's wonderful. I feel like I can completely be myself around Raquel. Uh, she doesn't try to change me. She makes it totally comfortable. It feels good to be with someone who understands what I'm going through. Raquel and Liam started life knowing that they'd been born into the wrong gender. I think I was about five. So at a young age, it just really didn't feel right. I remember being in kindergarten and sitting on a placemat. A young girl walked in and I was like, I really like her dress. Like, I want a dress like that. And I just remember growing up, like always wondering, why did I have to be different? After coming out as trans to their friends and family, they began the hard process of transitioning. And it was during this time that the pair met. I think I began to like her before she began to like me. I didn't intend for that to happen, but it did. After becoming a fully fledged couple, they made the tough decision to put their transitions on hold. Before we got together, we did discuss that, hey, I want children. So that was always in the back of our head. I always want to feel comfortable, and the world we live in doesn't always do that. It's unfortunate. It was a bittersweet experience watching Liam have pregnancy because I knew he wasn't happy with himself. I was happy during the pregnancy, I will say that, because I was grateful. But I didn't really want that experience. And in March of last year, their daughter Aspen was born. Due to the new Trump administration, there have already been steps made to withdraw laws for trans people in the US. And so Raquel and Liam worry about how their lives will be affected in the coming years. We're in such a dire state of emergency, especially trans women. We've always been the country that embraced diversity and to see this country that I used to be so proud of kind of change into a day where I can't wake up and not be in fear of what's going on with Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm scared of what that future look like for me and my family. The future for us as a family would be to raise our child the best way that we can, make Aspen a great person. How I feel about Liam, he literally saved me from myself. I love him with all his flaws and all my flaws and all the things that we don't understand. It's always gonna be Raquel and Liam. <laughs>